Your local weather authority forecast. Cold conditions this morning will give way to milder conditions this afternoon, even warmer compared to yesterday afternoon. This is a live look at Midland early on your Wednesday morning. Still dark out there under night vision before sunrise. We're seeing the black and white colors indicating that again, we don't have that much to wave any light, but pretty good visibility. You could either see a star, a planet, or a satellite right now, indicating that very good visibility right now. Speaking of satellites, satellite and radar showing very clear skies in not only the basin, but throughout much of the Lone Star State, there's a broad area of very clear skies indicates very stable air. We do notice those high level clouds north of us and high level clouds south of us drifting off to the east as that high pressure system moves north and east of us. That clockwise flow will allow for a subtly trajectory in those winds, allowing for warmer air to come. Not much to have any clouds this morning in around the basin, but we're still a little bit on the cold side of things this morning. And for the first time this season in parts of Terrell County, including Dryden, we could be seeing freezing temperatures. Freeze warning in effect till 9 a.m. Central Time with temperatures at or slightly below freezing potential the next few hours before we warm up in a big way later throughout the morning. Mostly clear skies, 36 right now in Midland. I think we'll drop very close to the freezing mark later this morning by the morning commute. 76% relative humidity, good visibility, 10 miles. Already a south south easterly breeze at five miles per hour. Sully winds will continue to start to rise throughout the morning and afternoon, picking up those temperatures eventually. Lower 30s in the northern western parts of our viewing area in the trans Pecos to the Cap Rock. A little bit above freezing right now along I-20 and even along I-10, pretty close to the freezing mark, but slightly above the freezing mark in Dryden. Upper 20s, low 30s in the Marfa Plateau. Low 40s near the Rio Grande. Eventually warming up into the 50s and 60s for most areas. High 40s in the Davis Mountains, but elsewhere again, 50s and 60s. I think we'll sink in at right around 59, 60 today in the tall city. Average high 73, still shy of our average high, but closer to that compared to the, the past few days. Very sunny and cool at 60 this afternoon. South, south easterly winds right around 5 to 15 miles per hour. Again, the dome of high pressure allowing for very clear skies in our neck of the woods. Wispy clouds north of us and near the Rio Grande moving from west to east, not producing any rain. Chilly tonight, but not nearly as chilly as even what we're seeing right now. Mostly clear skies in the 40s for most of the overnight. Winds persistent from the south southeast right around 10 to 15 miles per hour. Winds starting to pick up this morning and will pick up throughout the afternoon around 10 to 20 miles per hour south of Midland and Odessa from Alpine to Fork Stockton and Crane, especially in these blue and yellow colored areas, lighting up a little bit overnight, but then picking back up tomorrow from the south. That will allow for the warming trend to really pick up tomorrow, very close to the 70 degree mark, right around 69 tomorrow, from very chilly to mild air, with suddenly winds being the big story for the next few days. 74 Friday, high 70s, lower 80s this weekend, even warmer and windier by next week.